Hello and welcome back to yet another solution. Today we will be solving a quant question. Let us jump directly into it. If n and k are positive integers, okay, so what do we know about n and k that they are greater than 0, alright? And n plus k is less than 8, okay? So, a quick inference that we should take out from here is what can be the minimum and maximum value for n and k. So, the minimum value for n and k can be 1 because both are integers and they are greater than 0. Alright, that is what we already know. Now, moving forward, what can be the maximum value? So, n plus k, they should be less than 8, which basically means n plus k, like maximum, that can be equal to 7. And if one of them is has to be 1, then the other has to be 6. So, both of our n and k can take values from 1 to 6. Right? So, that is the inference that we should actively take out from this much part of the information. Now, moving ahead. How many different values of the product nk are possible? Okay, so we have to take out product nk. So say for example, n can take values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright. Now I like to tabulate such questions so that I do not miss any case. Right. Now values of k that are possible are again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So with that done, let us see. Uh, how many different values of the product nk are possible? So, what all products would we be getting? 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. But also let us not forget the criteria that n plus k should be less than equal to 8. So, say for example, what is the value here? Where this would come less than 8 as in n plus k equals 7. So, the maximum possible value of 7. Here it comes 7, 7, 7, 7, 7 and 7. So, all our values should lie in this region. All the values like above this 7 line. Right? So, what are the different products that we are getting? That is the question ultimately. So, in this region, what are our products? Different products of values that we get. So, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Right? So, we get the first 6 values. Now, here again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, these values are given, these values we would be having either ways. Now, let us quickly fill in the entire box. So, I have filled in the complete box. If you could see, these are the values that we are getting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, we do not get a 7, we get an 8. Then, we have a 9 here. Then, we have a 10 here. Do we have 11? No, we do not have 11. Then, we have 12 here. So, basically, we have a total of 4 plus 2, 6 plus 4. 10 different values are possible for the product. So, if we go back and see our solution like the uh, here. So, 10 is our answer. So, what did we do here? Let us quickly get back and see what all things are important. So, the first thing that is important is to do a take out active inferences. So, that is what we did and were, were able to understand the range of values for n and k between 1 and 6. Then, we tabulated here so that we do not miss any case and there's a clean working available with us. Then we saw our limit. So basically we needed all the values above this line and we uh, simply did few calculations, few multiplications and then we were able to figure out our possible answers and then simply count it. So the idea in this question is to uh, take it step by step slowly and have neat and clean working for yourself so that you do not miss any case. Thank you.